Hi, I am Jennifer Purcell, and welcome to my podcast, Living with an Invisible Learning Challenge, where we will discuss, discover, and learn more about the challenges and triumphs of those with NLD and other learning challenges. I do have a website for this podcast, and it is called livingwithnld.com. I also have a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account for the podcast. They are all under the same name, which is Living with NLD. I also have a YouTube channel for the podcast, which can be found by Googling the title of the podcast, which is Living with an Invisible Learning Challenge. I would like to tell you about a nonprofit that I use for my research for this podcast. It is called The NBLD Project, and I use their blog for my research. They are a nonprofit that is based in New York and is trying to get NVLD back on the DSM, and they provide many resources for people with NVLD on their website. I'll provide you with the website for them in the podcast description. All proceeds from the ads on this podcast will be donated towards the NVLD project. Please feel free to explore the other topics on the podcast, and hopefully you will learn something new from them. I hope you enjoy today's episodes. And today I am very excited to announce that BetterHelp is now sponsoring this podcast. I have had seven years of therapy, so I know it can help change your life if you not only let it, but work on the personal goals that you set with your therapist. Without a healthy mind, being truly happy and at peace is hard. The good news is therapy works. But what is therapy exactly? It's whatever you want it to be. Maybe you're not feeling motivated right now and would like some tools to help. Or maybe you're feeling insecure in relationships at work not dealing well with stress. Whatever you need, it's time to stop being ashamed of normal human struggles and start feeling better because you deserve to be happy. And now you don't have to worry about finding an in-person therapist near you to help. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Join the millions of people who are seeing what online therapy is really about. It's always a good time to invest in yourself because you are the greatest asset. And special offering to listeners of Living with an Invisible Learning Challenge, you can get 10% off your first month of professional therapy at betterhelp.com slash, I'll put in the link in the podcast description for you, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-E-P. Thanks again to BetterHelp for supporting, I mean sponsoring this podcast. Alrighty, so before I begin today's episode on careless versus normal mistakes in NLD, I would like to let you know that the next uh, Facebook chat, we have one today, but the one for May will be on the third Saturday of the month, which is the 21st, and that is from 10 a.m. to 1130 ish Pacific time zone. And that's again, just a safe space for you to um, be able to talk about things that you have challenges with in regards to NLD or another learning challenge you may have. And you don't have to have a learning challenge. You could be a family member who supports one with a learning challenge to be in the group. And anything that is said in the group stays in the group unless you ask that person 
permission to share it outside of the group. And uh, let me know if you want to come. Um, and again, it's from 1030 to, uh, sorry, from 10 to 1130 Pacific time zone. And I am having one today. I usually have it on Saturdays, but I'm having one today because tomorrow I'm going to be doing some fun things with friends. So I won't be able to do it tomorrow. Um, so I moved it today so that I could still do it. Also, another announcement that I have to make is I recently created another podcast called Sleepy Butterfly for people who have challenges with sleeping at night or meditating, and it's geared towards people who are auditorily sensitive or and or have chronic migraines and being able to have nice, relaxing nature sounds for them to fall asleep to or to meditate to and be able to be refreshed the next day or when they come out of their meditation. Um, so some of the sounds are like chimes or nature sounds like water or um, rainforest. And again, it's called Sleepy Butterfly. It is on Spotify and also Apple Podcast and Google Podcast. And it's on everywhere else where you can get podcasts as well. So I hope you are able to get some benefits out of that one also. And today I am very excited to announce that BetterHelp is now sponsoring this podcast. I have had seven years of therapy, so I know it can help change your life if you not only let it, but work on the personal goals that you set with your therapist. Without a healthy mind, being truly happy and at peace is hard. The good news is therapy works. But what is therapy exactly? It's whatever you want it to be. Maybe you're not feeling motivated right now and would like some tools to help. Or maybe you're feeling insecure in relationships at work, not dealing well with stress. Whatever you need, it's Time to stop being ashamed of normal human struggles and start feeling better because you deserve to be happy. And now you don't have to worry about finding an in-person therapist near you to help. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Join the millions of people who are seeing what online therapy is really about. It's always a good time to invest in yourself because you are the greatest asset. And special offering to listeners of Living with an Invisible Learning Challenge you can get 10% off your first month of professional therapy at betterhelp.com slash I'll put in the link in the podcast description for you. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-E-P. Thanks again to BetterHelp for supporting, I mean, sponsoring this podcast. you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, let me give you a rundown. Basically, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Hear how it's work. Anchor lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is, you can start creating today. Then you can distribute your podcast to the most popular listening platforms, including Spotify, with a single tap. Anchor is also the only place you can publish video podcasts to Spotify. With Anchor, creators can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And the amount that you can upload on Anchor is unlimited, which is really helpful for me. And it also helps you with 
getting statistics for your podcast in terms of where people are listening from so that you know how many people listen to your podcast all over the world. I also want to mention to you that I just launched my podcast swag on Wednesday of this week and have a page for it on my website and I will also send you the link to it in the podcast description and I will also send it to you in the newsletter that I usually send on out on Fridays. I am now selling t-shirts, water bottles, and a backpack and they all have the podcast logo and title on it and the tagline. So I am looking forward to watching the sales and seeing who buys them and um, spreading the word more about my podcast. Hello, so today's episode will be about NVLDers working for their family. Are you self-employed or work with your family or friends because you have had many challenges working or trying to work for others that don't know you have NLD. I work with my parents for several reasons. Among them are NLD, chronic migraines, flexibility, ease, understanding of, and empathy around the mistakes I make because of NLD and migraines. I love my job because I never get bored with all the different things I work on from cleaning the building to answering phones, tech and social media support, and other admin duties. I also have my own management of four podcasts to do. I have two of my own podcasts and one that I created for my mom for work and one that I help one of my friends create, Linda Carazalos. I also help my family by keeping the house clean by dusting and vacuuming it. So I have a lot that I do. I, at work, I have like, I feel like I have four different jobs because I help with, like I said earlier, I help with admin stuff and social and tech stuff. And I also clean the building. So currently I have four different projects I'm working on. I'm working on organizing all my mom's music for her services. I'm helping her pick some of the music for her services. And, excuse me, I'm also working on helping one of my colleagues with some tasks for her and working on um, doing inventory of our fair trade store I mentioned in a couple of episodes earlier, and I'm also working on everything else on top of that, that I usually do each day. So it's a lot of moving parts that are, it's a little bit like a juggler, you know, I'm juggling all the projects with work and then all the projects in my personal life and then all the projects with my podcast life. So it can be challenging sometimes to juggle all that. Sometimes my parents do get on my nerves a little with how they like things done at work and at home, but I still love and like working for them. I'm not saying this to hurt your feelings, mom or dad, if you're listening to this. I'm just saying it to support others who might be in the same situation. My dad can get frustrated with me, and when I make mistakes too easily, my mom also gets frustrated with me. Or when my dad is in pain or frustrated from a phone call with someone that went bad, he can get frustrated at me. My mom has a very particular way she likes things done, and I understand that because she is a boss and founder of her nonprofit but sometimes it's frustrating because I can't understand her instructions because of NLD or the way I think and my brain works. Yet I still love them 
and like working for them because I need that safety net, not only at home, but also at work. And I really appreciate that because I, because of all the mistakes I made at work because of having an LD and because of not having that much job experience before hand of full-time jobs, I really appreciate that my parents are willing to give me more than a second chance and being able to help them out with things at work. So since working for them, I have improved on proofreading emails, at least a little bit, social media posts, and cleaning the building more thoroughly, also making fewer mistakes by thinking through how to do tasks more. And actually, I've been working on the proofreading one more also, and I realized if I go through it more slowly and read through it more slowly, then I make fewer mistakes. And also, if I try to put myself in my mom's shoes and be like, okay, what would you want me to change so I can do that on my own without her asking me to do it? Because if I can think of that, then it's fewer emails back and forth between me and her, which helps her get more of her work done. And I've also grown by being able to work on more projects and manage them from start to finish with a little help from my parents and volunteers. I'm also able to find volunteers to help me with those projects so I can do my work. I also help with being able to think of what tasks can be done more on my own so my parents can do their work. For example, trying to think through the areas to clean people that will need to help me and things to get done before a special event at the center like Easter or Memorial Day. I also am really grateful that my parents know about my comorbidity, sorry, comorbidity of NLD and chronic migraines because then they can help me with work better. Sometimes I make a lot of mistakes because of NLD, like I said earlier or I need to lay down and take a break from the computer because of my migraine th condition. This is why I often take breaks from the computer at work by cleaning something, walking my dog outside, or checking my, all my volunteers to see how they're doing on their tasks. I also do this at home by vacuuming, dusting, going outside, or exercising for a little bit. Okay, enough about me. Let's look at some other articles from other NVLBers in the work world. Here's an article from the NVLB project titled, The Quest Seeking Employment with NLD by Caitlin. Caitlin is 27, diagnosed with NLD when she was 19. She currently has worked at a local department store for over 10 years, and it has been quite a journey for her there. She enjoys spending time with family, reading, writing, playing with her dogs, and listening to music. And she also has a Facebook page where she assists in Vigils with NLD and is a project social ambassador for the NVLD project. Caitlin talks about some of the accommodations NVLDers need and challenges 
they go through in the work world in this article. Quote, every individual with a non-rebel learning disability or NLD has their strengths and weaknesses and for some jobs may need accommodations to help them work at an optimal level. Examples of accommodations include color coding materials, folders, and labels, allowing the use of calendars and online schedule programs that can provide reminders of meetings, deadlines, and upcoming tasks. She uses Google Calendar and it has been extremely beneficial for her scheduling needs. Providing checklists for tasks a to-do list helps declutter your mind from thinking too much about what you have to do and seeing it visually will take the weight off your mind. Dividing large tasks into smaller tasks with specific goals for each task. Providing a job mentor if needed to help introduce you to the workplace. Allowing the use of a calculator for math related tasks if needed. End quote. I can relate to Caitlin because of the accommodations I need at my job. Understanding of NLD and chronic migraines and how it impacts me and the quality of my work I can do. Flexibility in my schedule and many tasks so I don't get bored too easily. I can also relate because I know it can be challenging to find an ideal job due to being neurodiverse and having chronic migraines. It took me going through countless interviews and working with four different companies for two years before finding the ideal job with my parents. Here's another article about jobs and NLD. This one is from The Mighty and it is titled What People Don't See About My Nonverbal Learning Disability by Julia Lane. It is about the things that people don't see about NLD when they look at her. Quote, when people look at me, they often don't see that I have trouble processing their body language. Their perfectly innocent facial expression could confuse me. Their tone of voice may sound harsh to me and make me upset. If they tell me something sarcastic, I may, not, I may or may not get it right away, or I may not understand it at all. If they are laughing at something, I tend to take it personally. They don't see that I have trouble meeting new people or in the past holding down a job, end quote. I can also relate to this one because there are things that people don't see when they look at me that I have chronic migraines and in BLD have challenges reading social cues, have gone through many traumas in my life, and am an overthinker about a lot of things that I experience in my life. They also don't fully understand the value of how something they say will affect me because of NLD. One example I have is somebody at work, well, I shouldn't say I work, I should say at my spiritual community where I work. Um, this was a while ago, but they came up to me and said good morning and they said that I look like a little girl and asked if I was a little girl. And I was like, no, I'm 25. And um, it, it kind of hit me because it, it sounded like an insult when she meant it as a compliment. She thought it was a good thing to look like a little girl instead of a woman. And I disagreed with her on that. And um, it just was really weird thing to say to someone without any context right away and like i didn't know her that much she didn't know me that much so it was just really weird and like made me think do i look like a little girl to other people and i know i don't so <laughs> i don't talk to that person anymore and i haven't since then because um it would be really hard for me to explain to them why that was not a necessary comment and why it wasn't kind or true um, because of having an Aldi and because of um, the way I think versus the way they think. So that was just an example. Um, I know I went on a tangent 
there, but it does relate to work. All these things relate to the working world because if people aren't aware of your struggles, how can they help you succeed more at your job? Think about that for a second. As I wrap up today, I want you to consider the challenges that you have in the working world because of NLD, anxiety, chronic migraines, or being a neurotypical. Hope you got some lesson out of this. I'll talk to you next Friday. Bye. Also, another announcement that I have to make is I recently created another podcast called Sleepy Butterfly for people who have challenges with sleeping at night or meditating, and it's geared towards people who are auditorily sensitive or and or have chronic migraines and being able to have nice, relaxing nature sounds for them to fall asleep to or to meditate to and be able to be refreshed the next day or when they come out of their meditation. Um, so some of the sounds are like chimes or nature sounds like water or um, rainforest. And again, it's called Sleepy Butterfly. It is on Spotify and also Apple Podcast and Google Podcast. And it's on everywhere else where you can get podcasts as well. So I hope you are able to get some benefits out of that one also. As I wrap up, there are some things I would like to share with you. I do have a website for this podcast. It is called livingwithnld.com. I also have a Facebook and Instagram page for this podcast. It is called Living With NLD. I will include the links for those in the description. In conclusion, I would like to hear from my audience. If you know individuals with NLD that I could interview for this podcast, please email me at livingwithnld at gmail.com. What are you interested in learning about NLD? I know I'm not an expert, but I do know I have the living experience of having it. I would like you to practice journaling about your gifts and differences. Also see if there is a way that you can make that difference become easier for you to do than it originally was. Thank you for listening today, and please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to it. Thank you. Bye.